I'm the CEO of Fresh Cruncher and uh, Real Estate Partners of Pulaski on uh, Sean Pulaski. Just for a few seconds, I just want to kind of give you my background here. I am a grocer first. I'm not really a real estate developer. I'm in the business of being in the fresh grocery business. Um, you may or may have not seen a number of our stores throughout the city. We've built a brand new store, uh, Chula Vista Streets on the South University. About two years ago, we were the first store in that community for over 40 years. One at Progress Plaza, uh, right off of Broad Street, uh, 56th and Chestnut in West Philadelphia, 54th and Chester in West Philadelphia, 40th and Walnut, um, and a couple in Drexel Hill. So these are neighborhoods that most people never want to put a supermarket before, and we've chosen to go into these neighborhoods so, uh, to put fresh groceries in the neighborhood. With that being said, going back a few years back, 2005, uh, ShopRite, which is located at Shop and Plants, was going out of business. And the way ShopRite works is it's a co-op. Uh, and once that person's going out of business, it's offered up to all the other co-ops, owners. Um, at that time, all the ShopRite owners said no to the location and they just did not want to be there. Uh, we had the idea of taking over the location. Uh, we thought maybe we could make it go up. So we went into the location with the hopes of redeveloping the whole property eventually. We put some money into the location, but it was, quite honestly, it was just a tired, old store. Uh, and it was very, very difficult. The parking was difficult for a supermarket. The facility itself was difficult. So we had the intention of redeveloping the whole property. Uh, and one of the ideas we had was to put a brand new fresh motion there. Well, over time, guys, we're doing our, we do what is called as market analysis and sales projections. Uh, and, you know, performance to make the, uh, the supermarket ready, we just could not make it. I mean, to build a brand new state of the art supermarket, fresh grocery, the way we like to have a fresh grocery, cost $20 million. Our performance just couldn't make it. So we tried to scale it down a little bit. But once we scale it down a little bit, we lose the variety that you are as a traditional grocery store. Um, so at that time, we, you know, we engaged different professionals up here, which I'll introduce you in a minute, but our architect, J.K. Roller, Jerry, because Jerry's done a lot of mixed-use projects throughout the whole community and the city of Philadelphia. Uh, and I asked Jerry, I said, Jerry, this would be a great location. Why don't you look into maybe doing something with apartments on top of the existing building, and maybe we do a grocery store in the back, uh, because of the R8 that the gentleman was just speaking of, was, I thought it was a great idea. We just could not make it work. But, you know, there's room on the property eventually, hopefully, that we could make some more apartments when the market turns around a little bit. So with that being said, we uh, reached out, actually should say, Save a Lot reached out to us, corporately, and we entertained putting a brand new 17,500 square foot grocery store there. Well, at the time, Sean here was working for the Fresh Grocery, and Sean's a young guy, you'll get a chance to meet him. He's a young, energetic guy, kind of reminds me of myself when I was his age, and you, you want to get in your own business and so forth. So he went to corporate save a lot and made a deal with them to become the only franchisor or licensee, so to speak, of save lots in Philadelphia. Currently, right now, Sean has four operating save lots. And he would be able to save a lot quickly to put his brand of save a lot on the location. Um, at the same time, we went out to the market for Mike Murray for Metro Rarely and said, what else would go here? What else would the, the neighborhood sustain? Uh, because at the same time, I had to spend $13,783,000 to redevelop this property, building a brand new save a lot and rehabbing the existing store the guts of it, that's what the cost of the $13,783,000 will be. I need credit tenants. You can't just get every uh, coffee shop, laundromat, and so forth to make this possible. So I needed over 60%, between 60 and 65% of the property being with corporate guarantees, such as a save a lot and such as a power trip. So we signed leases with save a lot and power trip on the property. Um, I guess a few months ago. Then after we did that, we went up closing the fresh grocery. And you know what hit the fan. I had, uh, and I, I personally want to sit up here and tell you that I applaud you all. I had no idea, and, and I should have known, but I did not know the strong community outreach in, in, in Germantown. And I 
quote on that. I really do. Uh, if I'd known that back four, five, six months ago, I would have started this process way back when. I really would have. But, you know, I just want to seriously, I'm sorry I did not reach out to you sooner, but I really did not know how strong the community was. At that point, that's when we reached that venue and we started the dialogue. Since that time, we did get a list from Betty and the group of different uh, shots they'd like to see them. Two days ago, I can tell you, we was pleased to meet, we met with Weaver's Way. Weaver's Way, uh, uh, Glenn, we met on the property. He's interested in 5,076 uh, 5, square feet of space. Reach out to the land, tell what you think of that, and uh, I think it'll be a positive experience. 